Hey, what's going on? So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, this whole life coach, business coach thing I got going on. Um, so it's pretty cool. All right. So I did this video, I don't know, last week or whatever, where I talked about the fact that I got a life coach and how I got him, how I met him, whatever. And I said I was going to say, I was going to do a future video about how much it costs and what we're doing. So um, I'm going to talk about some of that stuff today. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So right off the bat, I guess most people probably are curious how much a life coach costs. And I'm sure that it varies wildly depending on who you get. You know, Tony Robbins is like a million dollars for like four hours or something. I don't know. It's ridiculous. He gets a lot of money to do it. Um, this guy, uh, so it's like a 12 week program that we've got set up. And so I'll tell you what's included in this program before I tell you the price. So it's not like, you know, so you know what you're getting. Right, so the, uh, the program is 12 weeks long and there's a 90 minute Zoom session once a week. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of homework assignments. So he'll email me like stuff to print out and fill out some sheets. Like um, I got one right here that I've been working on called the pain tree. Uh, and the pain tree is about like childhood trauma. And so uh, as far as my business is concerned, I wouldn't have thought that my childhood trauma played into my business, but it turns out that it does. So, um, a lot of my childhood stuff, like these, I don't know, I don't want to call them values or whatever, this, the stuff that happened to me or whatever, the experiences that I had as a child and throughout my entire life have kind of been so ingrained in me that now they affect me in my business life, my personal life, everywhere. Um, so this has been an interesting uh, thing to dive into. Um, that's just one example. So there's some homework assignments, there's the Zoom meetings, um, there is like I can text him or email him or call him and ask questions and talk about stuff. So it's not like we just have this one appointment once a week and that's it like he's very interactive in fact he's reaching out to me asking me questions more than I'm really reaching out to him um, so it's it's not just these meetings you know there's there's a whole kind of thing I don't really know how to describe it he's like got my back for these 12 weeks and we'll see what happens after that I'm not really sure so to answer the question uh, it's eighteen hundred dollars for this guy all right, so this is for me a um, an investment that I am 100% okay with, right? I, I was looking for a life coach or some sort of help in my business world for a while. Um, so this is this is makes sense to me. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm sure I'm pretty sure I can write it off because it's. Uh, business related expense because I'm the main focus is to help me with my construction business and help me with my new business that I'm getting going um, it just happens to be that we're digging into this childhood trauma stuff that I would have never thought related but it is because it keeps me hung up you know so the way I see it is these these 90 minute meetings um, plus all the other stuff that I've got for the week, the homework assignments and the phone calls and the chats and everything like that, works out to be $150 per week. It's not cheap by any means, but um, it's, like, it's like an expense that, it's like an education, right? Like I didn't go to college. Uh, I did go to college. I went for two years, but I didn't really go to college, if you know what I mean. I was like, there. I was on campus, but I wasn't like in the thing, right? So I didn't really learn much when I was at college. Um, but people pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to go to college and to learn stuff and, you know, but they leave college with all that knowledge 
and there's like all these life skills and these other things that you need to take all of that knowledge and to actually use it and you know I'm 37 I'm not like super old but I'm not like fresh out of college either so uh, you would think after a certain amount of time you gain a whole lot of this new life skills right and I do um, and in the last five years I've spent tons of time and energy and effort and money on uh, improving everything that I can about myself and my life so as far as I'm concerned this life coach is not you know it's not it's not crazy expensive um, I've been in therapy for a long time and a therapist charges almost that much and all I get with a the therapy is like a 50 minute meeting once a week and that's it you know they just listen to me complain and maybe help me out a little bit but it's uh, it's more of a long-term game than a very narrow like this is what we're doing right so the difference between therapy and what I'm doing with the life coach even though it seems a lot like therapy with some of these homework assignments is that um, there's a goal you know with with the therapy there's I mean there's a goal to like kind of get my mind straight but it's not like there's a goal like I've got this business idea that I want to do and I have this business that I already have that it has all of my time and energy into this so I don't have the time to do this and so it's it's been really great to kind of like shift my focus and have somebody who has my back behind it um, because it's hard you know I I've been doing construction I've been I've had my own business for 10 years 11 years and it's going fine I've, I've got more work than I can handle I turn down way more work than I ever take on and that is a good problem to have right so um, it's hard to just like turn my back on something like that but as I've said in previous videos due to my back literally uh, the back pain the neck pain that kind of stuff the, the level of stress involved in the job has made me lose a lot of appreciation for it um, so with the help of this coach just in the couple weeks that I've been talking with him so I, I met with him met with him the first time for three hours over zoom and we got to know each other and and figured out what where the direction was I was gonna go and you know that's when he told me how much it costs and how long it was the whole deal um, and then the second meeting I forget what exactly we talked about but just like more about business and what I want to do versus what I am doing what parts of my job I do like you know because it's not like I don't like everything about my job um, there's just a lot that I don't really love right so uh, it, it really helped narrow down like a lot of that stuff like you know I really like the creative side of my job I really like the carpentry stuff I don't really love the painting and the drywall hanging and finishing and the heavy lifting building decks I mean I like the I like the the planning process of the deck and I like the the finishing touches I like all the the thinking and, and knowing you know how it's gonna lay out and all that kind of stuff like I'm into that it's the like the heavy lifting and the you know just just like killing yourself and I do a majority of these jobs by myself so it's a it's very labor-intensive so to be able to say like that's what I don't want to do this this part of my job I like you know and, and I'm focusing on that and I in the last week made uh, I made eight calls or texts or emails to eight of my clients who are on my either on my list or like on my tentative list we've talked about jobs and just haven't like put my eyes on it or something like that so I reached out to eight people to let them to let them go basically um, not let them go some of them I let them go completely uh, some of them I just you know said like I'm too busy I can't do this which is the truth like I had been telling people I've got two or three years worth of work and in reality when I started looking at my list the other day after this COVID thing and being backed up and seeing just how slow everything's moving right now it's nothing's going at the same pace it was before and I'm like this I am not gonna get this list done in two to three years so it was 
kind of forced upon me to make some decisions. Uh, so I did, and it lightened up my load a lot, and it took a lot of stress away, and uh, I'm perfectly happy with that. I know there's a lot of people that are probably going to, whatever, think badly of me for trying to take care of myself, and if that's the case, then whatever. <laughs> I, I have learned over the last few years that I would rather have my health and my sanity than just beating myself up to try to make a buck to please other people, you know, and um, a majority of my business is just doing it to please other people. And not that I don't like that, I, I, I certainly enjoy uh, when people present a problem to me and I'm able to fix it. You know, I like to do that. I like to fix the thing. Uh, so, that's why I don't think I'll ever get away from it completely. But uh, it's definitely changed my focus and it's amazing how just in a couple weeks it's, it's been able to give me the courage to kind of like face some of this stuff, you know? And decide what it is that I want to do, you know? And stop focusing on what I, on, on what I don't want to do, but what, what do I want to do? Um, and, and it's really helping clear up that vision. So um, anyway, that's a little bit about uh, what's happened so far with my life coach and uh, how much it costs. And if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And uh, if you got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you wanna follow me on this journey. Uh, I have no idea what this channel really is yet. I'm still figuring it out, but, you know, like, starting a new life, leveling up your life, that kind of stuff. Uh, I did some meditation videos and stuff like this. Like, I'm trying to just, like, share my experience uh, with with trying to improve, you know? It's almost like I have my, my business Borsalino Carpentry website. It's like my home improvement website, and then this is, like, my life improvement site right so like yeah i guess i don't know anyway uh it's probably enough for today so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video